So the waiting is over then. Time for the first race of this year's Royal Ascot meeting. It's, of course, it's the Queen Anne over a mile. And got a pretty good looking feel for this as we look at the course. And there's a list of the runners coming up then. The top one is Barney Fife for Obi Wan. Cabochon posted. Steve Rand. Dark side Paul O'Neill. Lamigo for Darren Thompson. Only time. Hems. Order War. Leon Van Rensburg. Ridgeway Acclaim for John Morgan. Right beside you for Hems. Unlimited David for Dan Hughes. Zulu Dawn. Joshua Sutherland. Farhana Landes for James Shea. Galore. Ryan Costello. Kithanga Dan Sears for Schlagito. Rampage down for Leon Van Rensburg. Top seeded Obi Wan. And Umbrian Fontenay for. David Robertson, a big field for this then, straight mile, and they're all in, and away they go in for the first of this season's Royal Ascot, and it's right beside you, it's just about the first to show, they sort themselves out then through the first furlong, Zulu Dawn's also prominent, so too is the Grey Lamigo, the Grey Lamigo up the far side of the track, also top series wide on the track, but this one closest to us is Zulu Dawn, and Zulu Dawn's probably just about a head in the lead, from right beside you, the Black Horse up the centre of the track, furthest wide still is the Grey, that's Lamigo, top seeded is next, now the leading four, as we switch angles, and Zulu Dawn is now furthest away from us on the round, just in the lead from the Grey Lamigo in second, right beside you is third top seeded is fourth, the favourite Rampage Town is well placed on the rail on, just on that one's inside, Cabochon posted is up the centre of the track, and also looking for a bit of racing room there is Umbra and Fontenay but at the moment it's still Zulu Dawn and Lamigo, Lamigo the grey might just be in front now from Zulu Dawn, the angle's deceptive, third is right beside you then comes Cabochon posted, top seeded is in the yellow jacket closest to us, the one that looks to be making eye catching progress is Cabochon posted also coming through on the rail there is Umbra and Fontenay Rampage Town now starting to get going but it's Zulu Dawn in the lead now as Lamigo drops away, it's Zulu Dawn from Order War and Rampage Town they're racing down towards the final two furlongs and Zulu Dawn leads by a length but Order War up the centre of the track, Rampage Town over on the far side, Lamigo's trying to get back into it again, only time is still there so he's right beside you but now it's Order, Dawn, Order War who takes it up from Stable Companion Rampage Town and they're being swamped all of a sudden now by only time right beside you Far on Landes, Cabochon posted they're racing inside the channel of the post and Cabajon posted a shot through to take it the first surprise in the first race and I think everybody was on Rampage Town in the preview show earlier but that one is a win for Cabochon posted and unless that's a newcomer with different colours that's going to be Steve Rahn as Stuart likes to call him and Stu might actually have tipped that thinking about it it's, it definitely is. It's Cabochon posted for Steve Rand. Steve ran the winner. Order War for Leon Van Rensburg second. Hems got third and fourth for right beside you and only time. And Rampage Town for Leon Van Rensburg was only fifth, despite being clearly the top rated horse in the race. And a bit of an upset then to start this season's Ascot meeting.